All right, we're going to continue where we left off. Uh, Satan was messing with my phone. Uh, I just wanted to get this last uh, precept here in uh, Daniel chapter 10, uh, starting at verse 5. It says, Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of upaz, and his body also was like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning. Okay, that scripture that says, uh, Wisdom maketh thy face to shine. Yahweh Shai is full of wisdom and knowledge. So that light is, uh, is, 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 is shining forth from his face. Okay, just like when Moses um, went into, the, tab into, the, uh, 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 into the, the tabernacle, okay, when he, when, he, when he spoke with the Most High face to face, he, was, uh, he had to cover his face up because of all that light that was uh, uh, reflecting you know, from 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 uh, from Yahweh, man. Okay, believe it or not. <laughs> okay, so imagine Yahweh shot himself. All right, uh, you know how bright lightning is. Huh. You know, it's like strikingly bright. Huh. You know, uh, it says, uh, and his eyes as lamps of fire. Okay, uh, because he liked to drink a lot. Okay, and then it says, and his and his arms and his feet. So, not only his feet, he didn't just feet, he didn't have dirty feet. Right. His arms too, his arms and his feet, uh, like the color to polish brass. There's that brass again. There's that copper again. Okay. okay. All right. The voice uh, and the voice of his words, like the voice the voice of a multitude. That sounds a lot like the scripture that was earlier read in Revelation, man. Huh. All right. So. Excuse me. So that itself proves, man. Okay, that itself proves that 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 uh that uh Yahweh Shai does not look like an Edomite. He does not look like like a like a so-called white man. Okay, and thus the nation of Israel, in general, is going to be pigmented. Okay, they're not going to be uh uh you know so much lacking lacking uh uh, uh pigment, lacking that uh what's what's that um called uh. Uh, the stuff that makes your skin melanin. Okay? So, you got anything else, brother? Con, I just want to make one more point. Yahweh Shai, uh, if he were walking the earth today, would be a, a so-called black man, a so-called African-American, a Negro. He'd be Con. getting called a nigger yeah. by, by, by these heathen nations, just like, you know, they call us, man. So, Con. I just wanted to bring out a, a, a real quick point. I got another couple of, I want to bring out real quick. This is Hebrews uh, chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So, so the Lord sprang out of the tribe of Judah. Uh, and I, then I wanted to uh, bring out one more point uh, in Jeremiah the 14th chapter, uh, verse two. And it reads, Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. So Judah being uh, one of the uh, uh, tribes, which there are 12 tribes of Israel, Judah being the top tribe, is the tribe that Yahweh Shai sprang out of. We just read it in, in, in Hebrew, the seventh chapter. Mm -hmm. And it says they are black unto the ground. Right. And when you go into that word black, it's, it's Kadar, which means dark skin. You know what I'm saying? So so it's, it's, it's clear as day that, you know, he was, a you know, with, with all, combined with all the other scriptures that we brought out in Revelations and in, in Daniels, uh, uh, that he was a, a, a dark skinned man. Yeah, so, Khan. Khan. Yeah, he was, he was, he was definitely pigmented, man. There's no way around it. All right. There's no way at all that you could try to convince me that, that, that my Messiah, okay, that the Messiah of, of, of the nation of Israel is, is, uh, is a white man. <laughs> Not gonna, not gonna flow, bro. And and a lot of and a lot of uh, 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 men and women and children are, are waking up to the fact that you know the so-called white man is 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 really a liar. You know what I'm saying? He, he's claimed that he's God. He's claimed that he's that he's this almighty, you know, worthy to be in, in rulership uh, type type thing. And, and and that's what this society is still running on. Okay. Uh, but yeah, how about Shimei Al Shai is, is, is soon. Uh, going to uh, turn the tables, man. Okay, and we're gonna be putting our rightful place. Right. All right. So that's what we're fighting for. That's what we hope to uh, to, to stay in the truth uh, long enough to endure until we are uh, rewarded with those with those uh, uh, with those crowns. Okay. Right. 
All right, so hey, with that, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.